Hello. So customers often ask, how do I create a frequency dependent termination in ADS? This short video is going to demonstrate three potential solutions. Solution number one is customers, uh, designers often want to use a simple one port S parameter file as their termination. The way we're going to accomplish that is, is through, a, through a data access component. Uh, so here we have this data access component one here. You just have to set that, point it to your, uh, your one port S parameter file. Make sure the type is set on touchstone and your independent variable and independent value is both set to uh, the ADS reserved underscore lo lowercase, excuse me, frequency variable. So this DAC component reads in the S parameter file, but in order that in order to use that in a termination, we need to translate S parameters into impedance into Z. So that's done down here in this in this variable block right here. S file two is a variable name that's going to read in from this data access component S11. So file DAC1 S11, and then Z term two here just converts that to impedance. And this, this Z term two here is what we're gonna use as our complex load impedance. If we run this and we look at the data display here, you can now see that if we just look at S11, can see now we have a frequency dependent load defined here. Okay, method number two, let's turn that off, turn this on. Method number two is, let's say you don't have an S parameter file and you just have a real and imaginary impedance that you wanna set your load to. We're still gonna use a DAC we're still going to use a data access component. But in this case, we just have to generate a lookup table with real and imaginary results, real, real and imaginary entries. So in this case, this is just a simple discrete data file. It's just called a underscore JB complex termination term. Make sure you keep this formatted correctly. So you have to have this uh, a begin statement, an end statement, you need this format line here. So percent freak again, ADS reserved, lowercase freak. So we, so it knows how to, how the file is dependent on frequency. And then, and then we just have the, our, our entries for um, A, real, A, real part of the termination and B, complex part of the termination. So this would be A plus J, B. The data access component, in this case, instead of being set to touchstone, you can see we're pointing to that file, but the type is set to just generalized multidimensional data. You have to make sure that still your independent variable and independent value is still going to be both lowercase freak, FREQ. And in order to read in that a and B value. So remember, we have this variable A, this variable B. We're reading that into this variable. So the, the data access component reads in the file. And we, we're now just assigning the data access variable A to our own local variable A. Same thing with B. And we just use that in our termination. So that result looks like this. This is exactly what we've defined. Uh, I'm just looking at the um, S11 now of, from, that, uh, from that table definition. Okay, finally, turn this one off. Turn this on, okay. So finally, customers often ask, how, how can I sweep through multiple different termination, multiple different terminations? 
Now this method I'm going to show here, you can you can either use this reading in a A plus J B file like we're doing here, uh, or if you want to do it, if you want if you have multiple S parameter files and you want to format your S parameter files, the exact same methodology applies. So what what we're doing is what you have to do the, the multiple files um, they have to be named and, and read in. So the format of the file, in this case, I'm just I'm just calling it a underscore jb complex termination, and then this information right here, this this percent d, um, is just going to be the the index of the file. So if you have ten different files, just name them underscore zero through underscore nine. In this case, I just have two files just for demo purposes. So I have two files. That's just a underscore JB complex termination, underscore zero and underscore one. Exact same process as before, exact same methodology. We're, we're reading in, we're reading in a plus JB from now these two files, because we're now just going to use this batch simulation right here. And we're just going to sweep ID and what ID is, is sweeping. So we're just sweeping that zero to one. That's going to read in these two different files that we've, that we've defined as zero and one. And now we can sweep through those files. And if we look at those results, right, we have two different files, ID zero and ID one that we've, uh, that we've swept through. Okay, this, this concludes this, uh, this short video. I hope this uh, helped. If you have any questions, please contact us at, uh, at Keysight. Thanks for watching.